Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Simple Hardware product launch. As we are doing it online, we have not invited to any, you to any stage or to any auditorium. Uh, next time I hope we will be able to uh, invite you to Prague for a uh, really big stage, big stage product launch, uh, but hopefully next year. So just please, as we are online, so just please give me a feedback whether you can hear me and whether you can see me well. I would appreciate that. in the chat window, whether you can just give me a feedback. That would be great. Top, okay, thanks a lot. Uh, we, beside doing the, the, the devices that you know, the simple packs and the check foxes and the simple leaks, we try to innovate because we think that IoT is not only about business processes, but IoT is also about innovation and bring cool new stuff into the market. And today we are really pleased that we can announce and we can launch uh, five new products. Uh, I will start with the, probably the most boring one, but with the one that is the most strategic one. And that's a product that we call Simple Pack Embedded. Uh, it's a, it's a, one of the things that we can see in the IoT is that we try to retrofit uh, devices into existing solutions, uh, but we strongly believe that the way forward is to manufacture the pallets, the containers, uh, the, the furniture uh, directly, including, including, the, including the IoT devices. And this is our first step forward in this embedded, uh, embedded uh, direction. Uh, we have done we have done some pack embedded already for quite a few of companies and for a, quite a few of projects, but we never announced it officially and we never launched it as a, as a product. So uh, basically, we are taking the casings or even the battery. We are able to take it out of the casings, and we can offer you a ready-made solution, including the connectors uh, in different in different configurations. Uh, is really small, so I don't. Uh, if if you take the, I'll I bring it with me. I'm going to prepare it. Mam My colleagues will bring. My colleagues will bring it. Uh, will bring it uh, to show you that it's a real product. And uh, what we are doing is that we are leveraging the 60 modes that we have already in API 6. So all the firmware functionalities inside, you can connect, uh, you can connect uh, two external switches. You can uh, connect uh, devices via SPI. Uh, all the radio zones are supported. 108 messages per hour is supported. Monarch is supported. And it can include different sensors for different products. Uh, the the form factor I have uh, the form factor is really small. Uh, on the we are not putting any there's no button no LED on the on the, on on the top side, uh, and on the, on the on the button side. So you have this you have just the radio parts and the processors and uh, embedded antennas. So that's it. Uh, of course, you can have also in the longer version with Wi-Fi. It depends on on the project. So this this is this is a complete project thing. Uh, we can also do firmware adjustments for you, and either you can use with uh, as with an API six uh, uh, product, you can use your own platform, or you can use IOFrog uh, ready-made with native mobile application and with billing available. So there's no SDK for it. There's a question whether there's any SDK. So we are not open sourcing the firmware. The firmware uh, it still will be compiled by us. But if you need a special mode for some of the use cases, so you will be you will be the devices will be shipped already with the firmware. So if you need any special functionality, any special modes, we are able to add it to the were currently available 60 modes, but uh, as, as far as we have seen for most of the embedding things like switches, uh, read sensors, temperature monitoring, so the modes are already inside, but we can adjust it and we can, we can, add, uh, we can add more to it. 
Uh, minimal order quality, uh, quantity will be. I have in the last in the in the last slides. I'm talking about uh, what is the MLQ on that one. Thanks for the question. Then we are launching a product that we've been talking and planning since uh, I, I think now ten months. Uh, we were uh, uh, I really wanted to bring uh, to them. We wanted to bring to the market uh, something that would uh, look cool because what we are trying to achieve is that we want to design to be not only functional but to be nice as well. So we are bringing a simple meter to the market. Uh, it's an indoor temperature and humidity monitor at uh, 25 euros. Uh, the size, you cannot see it from the picture, I have a 3D print here. So the size is, 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 is like that. You can see it in my in my in my hand. It's it's rather small, we think. Uh, the inside of it is it's a concept uh, that we took inspiration from Sigfox when they were uh, where they have a nice YouTube how to optimize the antennas. The thing about the Sigfox antennas is that it's very good when they are perpendicular to the grounding plate when they are perpendicular to a wall. So we are putting what we are doing in the simple uh, simple meter and other products uh, that we are uh, putting the, the whole PCB perpendicular to the wall. And we are using uh, two, uh, two AA uh, allows SOC two batteries. Uh, those will not be the batteries because they will have, uh, they will, there will be connectors and contacts. We are not going to use springs. Uh, so, so the size is, is correct but uh, the, the batteries will be using connectors and uh, that's it that's the that's the simple that's a simple meter uh, what i think is cool is that we are supporting 100,000 messages 10 years better life uh, already we have support for temperature logging and recording for areas with no Fox coverage if you need it for a moving object uh, we are able to support 16 dB EIR IP. So, what is the basically the highest, uh, the highest possible uh, output power using power amplifier in RC1, and we are a class zero in RC2 and RC4. Um, uh, again, the device is highly customizable. Uh, uh, the fitting is such that either you are using two screws going through here or you are using uh, removable uh, double-sided tape or industrial non-removable non 3M bonding. Uh, you can use also external wall, screw and horizontal fixtures you will see later in the presentation. So uh, the operating temperature is from minus 40 to 85 degrees and can be delivered, as you can see, it can be delivered if you need it with Wi-Fi tracking or other sensors according to your needs for the field deployment. So thanks for the praise. If, 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 if you like it, I, it always pleases me. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear your applause. I cannot, uh, but uh, I will not pause for an applause, but uh, I think uh, we think we like it. It's also in, done in such a way that it uh, can stand on, on the, it can stand on, 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 on a flat surface or it, it can lay. So you have, a, you have several options. You have several options uh, how, to, how, to, how to position it. So that's for the simple meter. Disponibility, uh, when, uh, okay, I have in the last slides, I, 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 am, I, am, I am presenting the disponibility, so you, you, you will get it. Uh, uh, temperature logger, yeah, one of the things that we have, we have currently support is that we are logging the, what we are using, we use it for the read sensor and we use it for we use it for the temperature sensor and we have it, there's a white paper about it when you go to our ASK uh, website, asksimplehw.eu, uh, there's a whole white paper about cold chain monitoring. What we are doing is that we are recording the temperature and we are sending not only the last temperature, but we are also sending, uh, I think, last five measurements. So we are always, uh, we are sending a temperature and uh, a delta, a time delta be between the between the measurements. So you can see, you can have the whole pipeline. You have like a moving window. So if you if you lose four messages, you still get the full temperature information. 
uh, so it's we can store many uh, we can store uh, many measurements the question is how much many measurements we can save we are normally the the, the, the window because we need to fit in the the sigfox um, payload of uh, we are using 10 bytes for the for 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 the temperature um, uh, for the temperature uh, sending so we are always using the, the 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 temperature and the delta so we are able to send in the pipe by five measurements if there would be a need we can record uh, definitely we can record more temperatures we have pretty large memory uh, currently so we can uh, record uh, hundreds of temperature recordings the question is how to get the temperature recording out of the device it's because we are not able to communicate with the device currently anyhow uh, then from then by sigfox uh, but definitely uh, if you have a use case let's talk about it offline the sense for the question so uh, the next one is a product that we call simple industry it's a, you could guess it's an industrial Wi-Fi it can be tracker but it can be also temperature meter it can be many devices uh, the same way as the simple pack is many devices in one uh, what we have done here is that we have moved uh, from basically we moved from uh, we made Two major uh, three major changes one is the orientation of the antenna as i described the, the antenna is oriented perpendicular to the surface so you get the best radio performance you ever can get uh, the other one is that we are moving from abs to polycarbonate uh, because mainly of two reasons one is one is the strength and one is the temperature range because with, with abs you are limited to 60 80 degrees uh, celsius uh, with polycarbonate you can go polycarbonate you can go up to 150 degrees so that was the, the, the second major change and then we are also changing the chemistry of the batteries uh, because simple pack is limited up to 60 degrees and simple industrial is using different chemistry of batteries and we can go up to either 100 uh, either to 85 degrees or we can go to 125 degrees you'll see later on so again, the battery capacity is 5.2 amp hours, so roughly 100,000 messages, 10 years battery life. Very, uh, very sturdy polycarbonate housing, IKE testing ready, IP68. Uh, uh, the, the inside of the ward is basically the route that is the inside of the ward is it's 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 lying on the it's lying on the it's lying on the PCB, so it's a very sturdy it's very sturdy uh, construction. We use a, a CAT a simulation to get the best uh, to get the best strength in the, in the in the smallest package and in the smallest in the smallest um, in the smallest uh, uh, casing. We we we, we cooperated that with the local technical universities, so it's it's really engineered to be super strength. Again, we are able to achieve 16 dB AIP in RC1 and RC3, class 0 in RC2 and RC4. Uh, temperature ranges from minus 40 to 85. And what is cool is that it can be delivered not only as a Wi-Fi tracker, but we can add uh, different sensors according to the needs of the projects. And for that, we have several fixing, uh, fixing options, as you were asking. So you can of course use it as a, you can use it as a, uh, as a device it's uh, as a device on its on its own uh, but we have a, we have a magnetic fixture for fixing it on any kind of metallic uh, metallic surfaces uh, this very very strong magnet that can hold it very strongly to any kind of, of magnetic surface and we are putting it uh, to the casing with uh, 3m bonding so there is a permanent there will be a permanent bonding uh, between the outer fixture and, and the device itself which is also uh, providing second layer of waterproofing the first layer is o-ring and the, the second level of waterproofing is 3m uv tape double-sided bonding that will be that's very strong uh, to the to going to the surface so one is magnetic and we have also uh, we have uh, the, the we have the casing with uh, horizontal uh, with vertical with vertical screws 
And as you can see in, in the picture, uh, we have we have one. I don't have a 3D print here. Uh, we have one with uh, we have one with uh, horizontal horizontal screw. So when ordering, you are able to choose whether you want horizontal, vertical, or magnetic fixture. Uh, or you can you don't need to use the fixture. You can use uh, double sided uh, double sided permanent fixture permanent tape. Um, so that's the simple industry. Then the other one is uh, simple industry hot. Uh, it the major difference between simple industry and simple industry hot is in the in the temperature rating. We have because we have uh, quite a few projects where the engine monitoring uh, is required and that the temperature can go. Uh, uh, can be up to 100 degrees. So this is a device that it's uh, capable of uh, temperature rating between minus 20 to 125 degrees for any kind of hot environment, uh, hot environment monitoring. We are also using a special MCU, which is which is higher temperature rated. We are using other batteries in it. So it is a high end uh, product, which is which is uh, more expensive than the rest of the. Range, but for some of the use cases, we needed that one. Or we need that one. Uh, ATEX uh, approval. Uh, ATEX. Uh, it's for for those who don't know. ATEX. ATEX, ATEX is a it's a certification for how how you would call it for um, uh, for queries or for mines. So where there's a danger, exposed environment. Thanks for 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 the info, exposed environments. Uh, the major issue with ATEX is that there's no a single definition. So ATEX is very very broad uh, specification, and uh, we, if you have a specific use case, I think we can we can do ATEX certification. But it, you need it, it's similar to uh, you know the 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 problem with certification with IP68 it's it's quite easy to do it because there's there's like a worldwide agreement what IP68 is, uh, but with for instance I key, I key testing which is the force uh, force testing or with ATEX testing, the company needs to tell us precisely what kind of certificate uh, they need. Because if we do, uh, you cannot do like a general IQ testing, or you cannot do a general uh, uh, attack testing. You, you must be; it must be a specific for this specific company. So we are ready to, to do it. We don't see any issues that we wouldn't be able to pass it. Uh, but it doesn't make sense for us to do a general one because it will not uh, fit to anything. And certificates for U.S. market definitely we are going to do type approvals for CE for FCC. So, uh, so certification uh, that's and it should be it should be easy. It's, the, the PCB is it's is based the, the whole device is based on the same uh, PCB as the simple pack. The PCB is precisely the same, and uh, so for us it's it's uh, it should it should be quite easy to do FCC. Uh, and the last one, what we are announcing today, it's uh, something that we call Simple Pack CO Plus Advanced Edition. Uh, this is a new, this is a new PCB. Basically, what we do is that we expanded uh, the processor, we expanded the memory, uh, so we have full, uh, we, we can have full Monarch support and to have the full API six inside the memory. We are also uh, adding, uh, uh, will be adding uh, future mode support and over the year local firmware and configuration updates. So with this memory that we have currently in it, uh, with this current sample pack, we cannot do over the year update, but with the new one, with the advanced edition, we'll be able to do over the year local firmware configuration updates. Uh, we are also using external crystal to even further lower the battery consumption and to have precise time, which is important for Monarch synchronization. Uh, there is, if you look at the picture, so you can see already the barometer on the PCB. That is this. Uh, that the on the upper picture is the round part in the middle. That's um, uh, that's a barometer, uh, and you use for Monarch you use barometer uh, uh, to detect. Uh, Either landing or taking off of the outlines or moving uh, containers up and down in the port. So, barometer support is in there. Uh, 
Uh, we have also a gyroscope for the spirometer support. And we also support new MEMS from ST Micro that uh, support machine, le machine learning and AI support. Uh, it's uh, the machine learning in, in, is done in such a way that you travel with the device, you see the, the patterns that the device um, uh, encounters on the way. So you can see there's another pattern when it goes by rail, another when it goes by uh, by road, another when it's in, 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 in the store. And then instead of uh, relying the the vibration patterns, it relies just so you 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 learn the pattern, you load the pattern into the device, into the production devices, and when the device encounters this pattern, so it uh, reports to you. Uh, not the pattern but like the number of the pattern so it reports you now i'm traveling on the train now i'm flying now i'm uh, now i'm walking so those are the things that can be done uh, using this advanced edition sample path for some of the use cases and also for the two meter uh, wi-fi precision mode that we have inside uh, uh, with the current sample pack, we are limited by memory to 120 locations. Uh, we are able to record 255 uh, location wi-fi wi-fi mac addresses uh, Wi-Fi MAC addresses within the plus uh, within the advanced edition. Uh, first, smart device. I hope all the devices are smart, but this one should be uh, should be really uh, can be can be uh, uh, can be taught. So this is something that uh, that's one of the first devices that can be taught. Uh, Temper-proof solution on the Wi-Fi unit. Good question. Not thought about the temperature proof. It's pretty difficult to get it off because it's really, it's really the the the, the uh, it's the 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 board the three M bonding is is very very strong. So it's 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 a matter of physical destruction. It's not it's not be it's not it's not going to be the Wi-Fi track. It's not to, going to be uh, in most cases. It's not going to be user detachable. Uh, we have we have this uh, we have we have the contact and we can think about it for the specific project we can see we can think about the temper uh, temper proofing but we didn't solve it so far and uh, I have two more slides delivery so what regards the embedded solutions uh, the projects are audible they are shipping we are shipping uh, I would say thousands of devices already uh, on uh, in the embedded in the embedded uh, edition. Uh, we have a project setup fee of 500 euros because uh, we need to analyze your device. We need to analyze how to connect it, uh, adjust the firmware. So uh, we have this a project setup fee of 500 euros, which is deductible from the first order, and MOQ is <clears throat> 300 pieces. So this is uh, this is uh, MOQ for embedded. For simple meter, simple industry, and simple industry hot. Uh, currently, uh, the full because we are using the simple pack PCB. So the full temperature, humidity, and all the modes are working in simple pack 6.0. So you can start doing integration. Uh, the mold for it is currently manufactured in in China. We are doing molds in China and, and, and plastics in China. So it's under production. It will take four to five weeks to to produce it, the, the mold, and about one to two, two weeks to produce the plastics. So we are uh, expecting beginning of January to have uh, field deployable uh, molds. But you can, if if you want to see the sizing, if you want to 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 understand it better, so we'll have uh, industrial HP HP waterproof prints print samples uh, that are that are going to be orderable online on Monday, and we will be shipping within a week. And then the field for the field deployment, it will be ready. It will be. You can also do pre-orders, and we'll be ab able to ship by January. And for the Simple Pack 3 of Advanced Edition, you have seen that we have ordered the PCBs. The PCBs are working fine. We are uh, adjusting the firmware. Uh, and the only thing that is, it's, it's, it's a more of a project thing that something that would be, that would be kept uh, directly in the stock. So uh, lead time for that per project would be about three to four weeks, depending on your, on your volume and on your needs. And we have also prepared uh, some new wizards. You know me that I really like sales and I like uh, to define projects properly. 
So we have prepared one wizard that helps you to define the use case. And uh, by filling in this use case wizard, we are then able to help you to choose the best mode of the device and the best setting of the devices. Then we have a new wizard to, for hardware uh, sensors and definitions and what is needed uh, because we are enlarging the product uh, spectrum and it can be overwhelming for some of the customers. So we have a wizard that asks specifically what are their specific needs and then we are able to pinpoint to the right, to the right product that they need for their use case. And we have also a wizard uh, that's collecting information for the custom device embedded project. So asking about the electrical properties, what kind of sensors you need to connect, uh, all this kind of question. We have uh, we have a wizard uh, that uh, when you fill it in, we are able we are able to provide you with quick answers. Uh, and uh, so those are the five products: the embedded solutions, the simple meter the simple industry simple industry hot and the uh, advanced edition of the simple pack uh, and i hope you will uh, you enjoy what you have seen uh, we are looking forward we'll have the devices uh, at singapore at, at sigfox connect so you can uh, you will you'll be able to see them to, to touch them uh, directly there uh, or to pre-order them and so if you are coming, uh, please, uh, uh, please contact us and we'll be, we'll, 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 we'll be, uh, we will be there. And if you have any questions, we are, we are ready to answer them right now. Okay, thanks for the thanks for the praise. Thanks, thanks, thanks. One of the things that uh, maybe I should mention is that we have we were we were promising uh, we were working on on the simple meter that would include CO two sensor. That's something that we still have in the pipeline and in, in the roadmap. Uh, we just decided to postpone it a little bit for the next year. So the next year you will see at a very good price point you will see a simple meter. You will see a simple meter uh, containing containing uh, containing CO two CO two CO two sensor. So that that's that's uh, what we that what we have on the roadmap. Okay, but whatever. We'll have also we are posting. We'll have also some comparison uh, of uh, between the the simple industry and the Alps and the Alps like and tracker. We will have this available online. Or we'll have it available at Sigfox Connect. So if you need to have a comparison uh, of features between Alps like and, and us, uh, just email me or, or contact us, and we can we can provide you with a comparison of the products. Any more questions? Okay. Thanks for your attention. Uh, and thanks, uh, thanks for the thanks for the praise again, and hope to see you. Hope to see you personally either in either either at Sigfox Connect, or we all we also definitely planning to come again to to South Africa, to Japan, and to Latin uh, next year. So we are we are hoping we'll see you we'll see, we'll see you soon. We will share the slides definitely. We'll be sending out the newsletter with this announcement on Monday. Uh, so, but we'll we'll put the slide somewhere on the in the blog post. I think that we are putting it on the blog post, so you'll be able to see it. You you you'll you'll be able to to see and download them. Okay. Possibility of rebranding the product definitely. We can produce uh, the the color. The colors are quite easy. Uh, the one of the things that we are not uh, one of the things that we can do pretty well with simple pack because it has flat surface so we can do pretty well printing on the we can do very well printing on the surface so we can do very good branding putting your logo here we have a little bit of issue how to put the, lo the logo on on, 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 on on the surface uh we can definitely do the branding on, on, the, on the on the on the on the downside uh or we can maybe it could work that we would be able to do some like uh, 
matte plastic uh, sticker with the branding on, on the top side. Uh, but printing on any kind of curved surface is, is not very easy. But colors, we can do whatever color, uh, whatever color you need. We'll be producing, as you have seen, we'll be producing the simple, uh, we'll be producing the simple meter in white, and we'll be producing uh, the simple industry will be uh, producing an anthracite uh, dark gray in dark in dark gray color and the hot will be in the fire hot color so we are playing a little bit with the colors yeah so you have uh, what regards monarch so we have uh, uh, you still have this monarch, you still have, and it's basically the same applies to with, with the simple industry, uh, because uh, you can have two options uh, with us with monarch. You can have uh, uh, like what we call a limited, lim limited edition of monarch, uh, where the monarch, you can switch the radio zones, the monarch works perfectly. We just don't uh, have precise timing, so if the, if the if the goods are in in shipping for a long way uh, so we have a little bit higher battery consumption uh, what it's needed for and again and for for this light version also we are not using the barometer for detection uh, we are able to put the advanced edition that you have seen uh, that has this precise timing and that has this precise uh, precise barometer. Uh, we can put it either into simple pack or we can put it into simple industry based on the project. But again, I need to stress out here that Monarch is not something that sh you should be able just to buy online and be like a generally available thing. Monarch is needs to be very project specific. Monarch is not easy to done properly, so please come come to us and let's discuss the let's discuss the uh, the, the details of the Monarch. Uh, we have the whole webinar dedicated to Monarch, and I'm trying to explain what are the what are the issues and complications with Monarch. Uh, <clears throat> yes, advanced is Monarch timing barometer and more 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 sensor types precisely. We are also we have re engineered a little bit of the internal architecture so we can uh, we can handle more we can handle more sensors we, are, we have also spi pins so if you need to connect any external devices through spi uh, we are able to use spi to connect external devices Okay, thanks for your attention. If you would need any more information, just drop me an email or ask us online or send us an, an, an email. We'll, we'll be glad to, we'll be glad to help, help you. And we hope that we'll go, do some good business together, both for you, for Sigfox and for us as well. So have a beautiful morning to America because we have, we have people from America. A beautiful afternoon in Europe and Africa, and good night, uh, good evening to to Japan. Uh, uh, let's meet in. Let's meet in in Japan. Maybe I will. Uh, if if you want, I can share with you maybe a, a small preview of one of the projects that we are going to announce on Monday. So if you, as a reward for uh, staying with us till the end. Uh, Hojíš mi, prosím tě, dojí to link na, na to, na kafe? I can see Yeah, please. I will share you a project that we have done, but it's like, uh, really, uh, uh, we have done a project uh, that it's not announced uh, publicly. Uh, it's announced only among uh, the Sigfox operators, where we have, uh, when we want to show off the strengths of the Sigfox worldwide coverage. So we have sent, uh, we have asked CIFOX or operators from all the 70 countries to cooperate and we have sent them devices that are putting on their coffee machines and we are monitoring coffee machines uh, at uh, the 60, 60 CIFOX operators that are participating in the project. So we will we'll have, uh, I will 
I will share with you the, I'm not sure. Uh, let me give one, one sec. Not as through hangouts or? Yeah. Just my computer is slow. So I'm putting this into chat. I hope you will be able to see it. To, to uh, it's not the. I'm not sure whether it's the correct. I'm not sure whether it's the correct. Maybe the second one will be better. So I'll try to share my screen if it will work. Yeah, if it's working, so not all the sensors are still active. We are waiting for Monday to have like 40 or 550 sensors uh, on the coffee machines. Uh, the, 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 the story behind it's a little bit that we want to share, we want to show that the accelerometer can do machine machine monitoring. Uh, and uh, we are also on the coffee machines. Uh, you are able to see how many coffees got prepared. Uh, okay, Max is waiting for them in Ur Uruguay. I think that we are waiting for your payment, Max, to ship them out. Uh, they are free of charge, but, but he ordered something, so we are putting the orders together. Uh, but, uh, okay, we'll, 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 we'll please contact our help desk if you have any issues with the, with the if you have any issues with the, uh, with the shipments. And uh, so we want to show off that you can see, for instance, how many coffees got consumed and you can do in-time delivery of the coffee machines uh, to the to the offices. So it's a use case. Uh, it's a use case where you don't need to store big bags of the coffee beans, uh, but the company providing you with the coffee beans uh, can do just in-time delivery because they know how many coffees got consumed. So there's this, this type of new business cases or business new business opportunities that by sending the world you can think of new business models uh, where you are able to deliver something uh, based on the consumption based on the based on the knowledge of the of the consumption so this is a small this is also you can see for instance if your cleaning lady is not brewing coffee during the night or uh, at what time your employees came to the office in the morning so you can you can deduce a lot of information a lot of information from the devices so we'll be we'll be sharing that uh, we'll be sharing that on the social networks uh, on monday but this was like a small preview for you as a, as a gift uh, as a gift and also we are think uh, i think that we have promised some uh, that we have promised some uh, some rewards for attending the presentation and I, I nearly uh, forgot about it. Uh, please uh, expect uh, those people who are staying here will be emailing you, you with some small awards for the, for, for the attendance. So thanks for thanks for attending and I hope you enjoy you will enjoy the, the, the new products and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.